Hey everybody and welcome to Storytime. I hope you're well. I'm glad to be able to spend some time with you. Um, we are getting ready for um, the 4th of July. So we are right before the 4th of July, which I can't believe we're that far into summer. And I hope that you're well. And I hope that maybe, even if it's on a much smaller scale, that you have something fun planned, um, maybe with family and friends, um, someplace where you can celebrate in a safe way. And um, I have on my Equality t-shirt and this month is Pride Month. And so uh, that's why we have uh, rainbow things. Maybe you have seen those things around. And a lot of times at church too, we have signs and flags and things that have rainbows also. And um, that's about like equality and justice for everyone. Um, and I wonder if you can have a conversation with your grownups about pride and what that is. And normally we would be, um, our church would, would march in a parade, which is a really, really fun event. And it's a big event in Columbus. So um, we're going to continue today and I'm going to read another book about peace. And although we have been talking about God's love for all people and um, the greatest commandment, which is to love God and to love your neighbor, and that means everyone, um, even people that you don't like. And that sometimes is really hard because sometimes we have people who we think, I don't understand those people and why are they being so mean? And um, that can be really hard to love people that you don't understand. And so, um, but that love, God's love is for all of, all people and and there's enough for all of us, like no matter what, even if someone who you think is really not very nice gets love from God um, there's still plenty for you. So um, we're going to keep talking about peace. So earlier the week, in the week, I read a book about peace, and we're going to do one more book about peace um, as well here today. So this is called Somewhere Today, A Book of Peace by Shelley Moore Thomas, and it's their photographs by Eric Futron. Look at all those faces. I wonder if any of those faces kind of look like your face. Somewhere today, someone is being a friend instead of fighting. I wonder if you're having trouble with that at all. I wonder if you're spending a lot of time with, if you have siblings, if you're spending a lot of time with your siblings and maybe it's sometimes harder than others to get along. I think that that's true. I think that's true for everybody. Um, sometimes when you spend a lot of time with people, it can, you know, there just are things that kind of, you, you start to get on each other's nerves. And so I hope that you can think about peace in those situations. Somewhere today, someone is caring for a child so she won't get sick. Somewhere today, someone is joining a friend's celebration. I wonder if that looks anything like a celebration you've ever been to. Somewhere today, someone is teaching his little sister to ride a bike. Have you ever done that? I wonder who taught you how to ride a bike. And I wonder if you've ever taught someone else to ride a bike. Somewhere today, someone is getting a letter from far away. I wonder where their letter came from. Somewhere today, someone is visiting a friend who is old. Yeah, right now it can be hard to be with older adults because we're worried that they might get sick. But I wonder if there's something that you could do for an older adult who you love or you know. You know, maybe you could make them, bake them something or um, color something for them or write them a note or do something so that they know that you are thinking about them. Somewhere today, someone is planting a tree where one was cut down. Have you ever planted a tree? Somewhere today, someone is fixing old toys to give to new friends. Have you ever thought about doing that? maybe donating old toys or giving old toys to people that, um, that you know, maybe they have kids younger than you. 
Somewhere today, someone is learning to do things in a different way. Can you see what he's doing? Have you ever eaten with chopsticks? I wonder if you have, and I wonder how it went. I wonder who taught you. It's kind of a fun thing to do, so maybe that's something that would be fun to try, is learning to eat with chopsticks. Somewhere today, someone is reading a book about peace and thinking about making the world a better place. Here's a closer picture of him. Maybe it's you. I wonder if it could be you. I wonder what you can do to make the world a better, more peaceful place where everyone feels loved and included and that we see all people the way God sees them um, as wonderful children of God. So I hope you can go out and you can share your love and your light and your peace with all the people around you. I hope I will see you soon.